Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Adam. You're watching Steady Invest, and what a crazy time it is right now in the markets. And not even just that, in the world. There are global lockdowns happening. Last night we got news that there's a new stimulus deal agreement between Republicans and Democrats. And today is the big day with Tesla being added to the S&P 500. And this morning, currently, everything is very, very red. So we'll have to see what happens with that as well. Another big thing right now in the news and the point of this video is the surge of Bitcoin. And only recently have I started doing research on Bitcoin. And wow, is it interesting. It's so genius. But at the same time, it is still very speculative. And I wouldn't be surprised whatever happens to it. But I do, however, expect it to be volatile. All right, so before we get started, if you haven't already, smash that like button. It helps my videos get out there as well. If you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. Hit that subscribe button and let's get started. All right, so Bitcoin is a finite, decentralized, unregulated digital currency, meaning there's a limited supply of it, just like gold and unlike the US dollar and how we keep on printing more and more of it. The stimulus agreement from last night, all that money's coming out of thin air, meaning it doesn't exist, but we're desperate and need it to. And this gives us less trust in the value of the dollar. So with Bitcoin, because no one's in charge and there's no authority over it, its value is purely determined by supply and demand. And recently, unlike the bubble in 2017, big money has now invested into Bitcoin. Think of big names like PayPal, Square, and ARK Invest. Because of this decentralized open system, records and transactions are kept in the open by everyone. This system reduces manipulation, corruption, and fraud. And this system is all made possible by something called blockchain technology, which is a ledger that holds all the records held by everyone. But if everyone has access to this ledger, what's stopping me from going in and giving myself 10,000 Bitcoin? This is where Bitcoin mining comes in. Now this might sound a little bit weird, but hear me out. Bitcoin mining is very similar to playing the banker in Monopoly. And this means you're in charge of validating the recent transactions on the blockchain. However, in order to do this, your computer needs to guess a random number generated by the system. And in order to do that, it needs to do several very complex math calculations. The more computing power you have, the more numbers your computer can guess, and the more likely you'll win that privilege of being the banker and being able to write that next page of Bitcoin transactions. This is a very inefficient process. It takes up a lot of energy and it's a lot of work. So you get rewarded for all your trouble of guessing correctly in the form of Bitcoin. So Bitcoin mining, in essence, is a process of confirming transactions on the blockchain. So I'm investing in a crypto mining company, and this gives me exposure to cryptocurrency streaming, which is a very profitable business model, as well as the underlying cryptocurrencies. However, the level of profitability when it comes to crypto mining depends on many different variables, which I'm going to be explaining in my next video. So for me, I'm bullish on Bitcoin, and although it is very speculative, we're seeing more market adoption and this is very important because unlike the bubble in 2017 we're now seeing big money flowing into the asset so think of it like this you could share a blockchain between five or ten people but it wouldn't really be decentralized because there wouldn't be enough people in the system so there wouldn't really be any adoption and therefore no value in the underlying currency so only when we achieve critical mass which we're starting to see right now will the blockchain truly become decentralized and unchangeable in other words, it becomes more established and cannot be manipulated. This gives it intrinsic value and we could see price appreciation as a result. Like with most investments, we're just going to have to wait and see as time will tell. And that's it for my video. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, smash that like button. It helps my videos get out there. And if you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. Hit that subscribe button for future updates and drop me a comment. Let me know if you're investing in any cryptocurrencies. As well, if you're in Canada and want to start trading with Wealthsimple or Questrade, Use my links below and we'll both get free money. See you guys in the next video.